Hi guys, this is Daniel from FND. In this video, we are going to see how to create very realistic images in Flux. So this is a new technique that is surfacing around the internet. So let me show you what is that technique. So let's get started. So go to TensorRot. I drop a link in the description. You can uh, use that uh, link. And uh, when you click that, you will get this post and click on get more credits and sign up with your Google account. So while signing up with this account, you will get extra 50 credits. After signing up, click on create. After clicking on create, you will get this uh, UI. Here you can select your models. You have many different models, colors, ST3, flux, etc. So we are going to use flux for this tutorial. So I'm going to select flux. So let me show you how to create the realistic prompt. Before that, we are going to generate one image with simple prompt so that we can compare with that with uh, a realistic one so the prompt should be simple prompt so i'm gonna give the prompt this is the simple prompt wedding and make sure the image is in one and the seed is in random click on generate so this is the result for this uh, simple prompt wedding let me copy this seed so this result is realistic but you can see it is looking like it is taken from the professional camera what if it is taken from the normal amateur photographer and using the normal mobile camera. For that, you need to add a simple prompt prefix this prompt. So I'm going to add a simple prompt like this. IMG underscore and give a random number 6565 dot then image extension like jpg png etc space then your prompt i'm using the same seed i just copied over here and paste it for this generation so that we can compare let's generate and you can see this result so you can see it is highly realistic and you can also see it is little bit blurred and you can see it is not taken by the professional photographer you can see also see the background is not blurred it's taken from the normal mobile camera so here is the previous one you can see it is highly professional but you can see this one is highly amateurish for this image someone can easily identify this one is a generated if you show this image and many even can't even say this one is a generated so this one is highly realistic so we need to add a simple prompt before our prompt so this is that you need to type in image underscore then the random number dot then any image extensions like png will work cr2 will work so any image extensions will work so let me show you the another example so this time i'm gonna uh, type in a uh, different prompt and one other important thing is you should not add a very long prompt so if you add a very long prompt then it will not be very realistic so it will go back to this uh, photographic style look not this amateur style so you need to give a single or uh, two words maximum to get this result this time i'm going to give the another prompt let me give graduation one with this uh, prefix and one without so that we can compare and uh, both are having the same seed And you can see the both the results are generated. This one is the simple prompt without prefix. You can see it is very realistic, but you can easily identify this is an AI generated image since you have very much blurred background and and it is looking like it is taken by a professional photographer. But this one you can see. So this is very realistic it is looking like it is taken from the mobile camera 
by some random person so using this simple technique that is adding this prefix adding this simple prompt adding this simple text before this prompt you can generate very realistic results so that's it if you like this video give thumbs up subscribe the channel for more future tutorials also press the bell icon so that you can get instant notification when i upload a video thanks for watching and bye